Hello, this is Susan from the 2015 Ice Resin Creative team with a little project for late December. A couple of uh, fun techniques tossed in that maybe you can use to recreate the project and or incorporate them into something that you do. So I hope you love it. So here I put together a couple of ounces of ice resin ahead of time because the mold is a purchased mold that I got from Etsy and it holds a lot of resin. So I'm just pouring the resin right into the mold using clear, I didn't use any color. I'm gonna get it all inside there. And you don't have to be horribly careful, it's silicone. If you overspill, once it's cured, it just peels right off. I would have made my own mold, except the piece is so big, I didn't feel like I could tackle it, so I did purchase the mold. So we're to the end of ounce one, you can see that's just totally disappeared, and you can't see it at all. Going in, I'm going to keep scraping, I like to scrape everything out. I do have a sample. I, I leave this mold on my desk and you can see all the different layers of color. I literally poured scrap resin when I'm done with a project into the mold and when I was done over the course of a couple of weeks I ended up with this fun striped bracelet and I just I love the shape of it. It's really fun. So we're going to go ahead with ounce number two and pour that right into the top and just bend the cup keep pouring. It's no problem. I'm going to get it up almost all the way to the top before I stop. I'm going to stop with a little bit of resin in the cup. Now I've got ice, or I'm sorry, I've got ranger ink in pitch black and I'm going to mix it right into the mold itself. Just a few drops on top. I took the stick back out of the cup and I'm literally going to just swirl it through back and forth once or twice. I don't want to mix the color in. I just want it to kind of be swirly inside and just scrape a little and that's it. I put a dust cover over it and 24 hours later, voila, we have a mold. And I'm just going to take it apart and it's cured. Now, the mold is a little bit of a bear. You really have to pull and tug and loosen up all the edges and give it a little muscle. So as you can see, I'm kind of tearing at it. You're not going to rip the mold. I do have a couple of tears towards the top, but you're trying to get your hands underneath the edge. Yes, I'm wrestling with it. <laughs> here it comes. Okay, here we go. This time, there we go. And there is the bracelet and it just swirled, you can see. Oi, pretty, pretty. So at this point, I moved over into my metalwork area and I've got the vise out. So we're gonna just put the bracelet itself for step three into this vise. And the vise has teeth, so I'm gonna cover it a little bit with some paper towel, shop cloth. And there it is, ready to go. I don't want the edges to be too marred, um, nor am I gonna measure out a center point. I'm just going to go for it. You can see on the right hand side I have my drill bits and I've already decided I'm going to use the half inch. I want to drill a great big fat hole in the center. So I've just hand tightened that to hold it still so I can drill without it wobbling around the table. And if you had an actual permanent space you probably screw that thing down. Safety glasses are a must. Power tools, I'm just going to put that drill right in the chuck. It's a paddle bit with a little pointy thing on it, which helps you hold it right into the resin. Also, when you drill, you have to wear some sort of mask over the face. Uh, and I just put this on. See, isn't it lovely? Isn't it fashionable? <laughs> um, but you need that so you don't breathe any of the particulate matter in. So here we go. We're going to go very slowly. I'm holding the vise in place with one hand. Just go slow. There's no reason to hurry. 
Again, I didn't measure. It's just going to end up wherever it's going to end up. It takes a little bit, and I got some of the paper towel, but that's no problem. And we're going to take a look at this hole. Just undo it from the, the vise. There it is. See? A little hole. So now we move on, and I'm going to fill that little hole. So I'm going to prep my table and prep the hole. I've got some packing tape. I'm just going to take a little piece off and fold the ends down to make sure I have handles and place it right on the back side of the bracelet and burnish it in with my fingers just to tighten up the tape to make sure the whole thing is sealed across the back and it's ready to go. You'll see off to the left I have a little dish of rice and that helps to level it out because the bracelet itself is not um, it's not level if you just set it on the now table. I'm going to take just a little bit of high flow paint in a turquoise and mix it in and mix it well so that you don't have any paint swirls. I want it to be a solid color. And mixing well and then just take my stick and once I get it to the right opaque shade, I'm just going to drop some drips in that hole that we prepped and fill it to the top. Try not to overfill because that bracelet is kind of a U shape and it'll flow down the side, so you just want to be careful. So I keep checking it to make sure it's full and isn't it beautiful? Yay! Thanks to everyone at Ice Resin. It's been an incredible year. Please go check out iceresin.com. There are thousands of ideas. Take care.